It has been an incredibly difficult month for these public servants, and I wanted to take this moment to thank them for their bravery and express my sincere condolences of the loss of one of their own, Officer Keith Boyer. In the wake of the tragic murder of a beloved member of the Whittier community, we've all been left to wonder what could have been done to, pre to prevent the senseless violence. As a member of the state legislature, I am fortunate to be in a position to channel this frustration and grief into action. AB 1408 is a result of intense discussion with the law enforcement community, and I believe it will help prevent tragedies like the one we witnessed on February 20th. Since a federal court order to reduce California's prison population came down in 2010, there have been several criminal justice reforms undertaken with that very goal in mind. These measures have fundamentally changed the way we prosecute nonviolent, non-serious crimes in the state, where these convicted of these crimes serve their time, and who supervises these felons when they are released from prison. Today, I'm proud to announce, announce uh, and introduce AB 1408, which will set best practices for our criminal justice system in the wake of these reforms. AB 1408 is a necessary modification to the aforementioned reforms as we balance the rights and rehabilitation of the formerly incarcerated population with the need to ensure that our communities are safe from dangerous criminals. AB 1408 has three main provisions. First, it will, re it will require the Board of Parole hearings to consider the entire criminal history of an inmate, not just the most recent offense when considering them from release from prison. Second, it will improve information sharing between the Division of Adult Parole Operations and the County Probation Departments. And third, it will require that upon the post-release community supervision violation, better known as PRCS, there will be a mandatory revocation hearing. AB 1408 does not undo the steps that the state has taken to address its prison overcrowding problem but it does endeavor to set some practical ground rules and enhance the tools available to law enforcement operating under these new reforms. We owe it to our law enforcement community to seriously consider the release and supervision of the criminals they've helped to lock up, especially because they are likely to be the ones encountering them while in our neighborhoods.